Do know that lack of communication can cause people to not mess with you as a braider. Period. Ain't that what the young people say? Period. Okay? Hey, Braid Boss is a junior exclusive. Braid Boss in charge. You guys, make sure you are subscribing to the channel and checking out my Braid Hair for Cash course in the description below or somewhere on the screen. Okay? I want to talk about seven habits of highly successful braiders, aka the braiders that are booked and busy, booked and getting the bag. Yeah, they do these things. First thing is, the people who are booked and busy, the braiders who are booked and busy, they have a portfolio. Yes, ma'am, a portfolio. A portfolio is separate pictures that are your best of the best that you show to clients who are interested in you. They've come across your Instagram. They've come across your website and they want to see more pictures from you, right? So if you're a successful braider, you need to set up a separate portfolio to send clients to so that they can see not just what's on your Instagram, but other pictures that are your best quality of work, okay? The next habit of highly successful braiders is they are active on social media. Yes, if you are going to be a full-blown braider, there is no reason why you shouldn't be posting at least once a week on your social media. People want to know that you're active. People want to know that you're doing it. And the way to show them that you're doing it is to be present. I prefer you to do two to three times a week, but I'm just saying bare minimum, you need to be posting at least once a week on your social media where you are advertising yourself as a braider. This can be something as simple as showing a hairstyle you recently did, sharing a tip, sharing a review of a product there's so many different things that you could be talking about as a braider you have no reason to not have at least one active new post on your instagram tiktok any social media that you are using so that people know that you are still active and you are still doing hair the third thing that people do the successful braiders is you have content again coming back to your posting you have to have content. It needs to be content, content that's helpful, content that is useful, and content that looks good, okay? And content that makes sense. A lot of times I go to some braiders, and I've told you guys this before, I know some people say mix in your personal with your business. If you are a brand new braider or you are a intermittent braider, you somewhere in between there, people don't really know you yet. People prefer to just see the hairstyles that you do and you talk about how they can keep up with their hair. So I know you want to show your cat. I know you want to show your dog. I know you want to show your kids. And I know you want to show your vacation. However, if people do not know you, the content on your business page needs to be just that about your brain business. So again, that will be videos, that would be pictures, that would be before and afters, that'll be reviews, that will be tips and tricks on how to keep their hair or their braids maintained or healthy. Okay, so you need to be making content. Okay. The next thing for successful braiders who get to the bag, okay. They have a call to action. They tell people what to do. In the beginning of this video, I told you guys to do two things. Subscribe to the channel and go check out my Braid Hair for Cash course. You need to always be telling people what to do. What is your call to action? Tell people what to do. Tell them to book with you. Tell people to check out whatever. Tell them to go here. Tell them to do this. Tell them to text that. You have to tell people what to do. And that's called your call to action. A lot of times when you see people, have you ever been to a YouTube channel and the first thing they tell you to do is subscribe? That is their call to action, okay? And you as a brother need to do the same exact thing. Tell people what to do. Tell them how to book you, how to contact you. Those should be the simple call to actions. Book me here, call me here, okay? The next thing is that people who are highly successful braiders, they have effective communication. You guys do not know how many times I hear people complaining about braiders who do not respond, respond at last minute. I just had a, not a braider, but a makeup artist. She canceled on me 9 a.m. that morning and my appointment was at 11. Baby, she ain't never got to worry about me coming back. I didn't spend no time to build that review. Just know if you do not communicate effectively, right? Clients will not mess with you. So that means you need to be responding to text messages, answering phone calls, um, responding to DMs or PMs. And if you can do this even better, let people know what your time frame to respond to them will be. 
You know, hey, if you text me, give me 12 hours before I respond. Even though that's a long time. Do you want money or do you not want money? Do you want do you want a break? Do you want me booked and breaded or no? Because you should do know that lack of communication can cause people to not mess with you as a braider. Period. Ain't that what the young people say? Period. Okay? So make sure you are communicating effectively. And if you can, let people know the time frame it's going to take you to respond to them as a braider. Okay, and the next thing, highly successful braiders are always learning, learning the new technique, learning what's new on social media, learning what's popping. Like right now, when you guys are watching this, reels is popping, reels and TikTok is popping. You could blow up on TikTok, but I've also seen people be destroyed on TikTok, so be careful. Um, uh -huh. you can reels if you get your real game on point next two, three weeks, a month. I guarantee you, you're going to get more people and you got to decide one time i had a client tell me when i was doing business coaching she was telling me oh i want more clients on me i want more people to my website i want more people to my website and i'm like girl forget the people coming to your website girl you want more clients scratch all that i don't need you to just visit my website baby i need you to visit and i need you to book me so forget about getting them to just come to the website you need to be thinking about what are you saying or doing to get people to come to your website but people the braiders who are the most effective and the most successful when they're getting into the bag, they are constantly constantly learning what's new out here on these streets. That could be technology, that can be social media, and that can be styling. If you see a stylist popping and you kind of eh about it, it might be in your best interest to become good at that because that can be a good selling point to clients who want that style. If you don't know how to do fox locks and you get people keep hitting you up about fox locks, I think you might want to learn how to do fox locks. You get people hitting you up about box braids and you don't know how to do box braids, I think it might be time for you to learn how to do box braids, right? Now, have your own discernment to know what to go after and what not to go after. Everything is not for you to go chase. Okay? You don't need to jump on every wave. However, if people keep hitting you up about one style, I suggest you learn how to do that style. Okay? And the last, but definitely not least, don't go nowhere, is you need to network. I said it in one of my last videos. I do not remember the video. Maybe I'll let it slide up here somewhere. But I pretty much said you need to start networking with other beauty business owners. Okay? If you do braids and you know somebody that does nails, you need to connect with that person that does nails. They tell people about your braid and you tell people about their nails. If you know somebody who does eyebrows, you tell the person about their eyebrows, they tell people about your braids. Okay? If you know somebody who does weave, right? You don't do weave. They do weave. They'll tell people about you as far as a braider and then you tell people about them as far as weave or wigs, whatever they do. You guys get my point is you need to start networking with other braid, not braid, you need to start network, and you can even network with other braiders. Let me not say that. You can network with other braiders because sometimes you're booked or sometimes you're, you're just unavailable, right? And maybe what you could do is you could do a, refer, a referral fee. Hey, I'm going to tell you about this braider, and then she going to send you, he or she, going to send you whatever you guys agree upon. Or maybe not. Maybe your thing is, hey, I sent somebody over your way. Next time you can't do whatever, whatever, and I can't send that person my way. Right now, that's going to be off of the honor policy, but the truth is you need to start networking with other, like, that's why I said other beauty business professionals, because braiding is like, mm, you can network with other braiders because location-wise, it might be, hey, send this person, yeah, I send them to you. But you want to network with people who do makeup, network with people who do nails, network with people who do eyebrows, network with people who do waxing, because if you tell somebody about them, they'll tell somebody about you. Because here's the real, real, real underlining, undercut. When people go to other people, it's because it's usually word of mouth or they learn to trust you over the internet. Now, what other better way than getting somebody from somebody you already trust? If people already trust me and I have somebody who's been coming to me for two, three, four, five years to get their hair braided and I tell them about a nail tech, they're probably going to trust me more about that nail tech because they've been rocking with me for a while. Same thing with that nail tech. If that person has been going to that nail tech for three, four, five years and they tell them about me as a braider or you as a braider, they're going to roll with you because they trust that person. It's all a trust game, y'all. People have to know, like, and trust you to rock with you. All right? So hashtag pretty game in the comments and I'll be talking to y'all later. Bye, y'all.